Well, um, I'm thinking that uh, I'll just hang tight here and uh, evaluate a little bit longer just to see what happens because, uh, you know, it just may not be the right time for me to buy. Hey, Mark here on Mark Talks. Let's talk about something today. Is debt a good thing? I don't know. Some of you, when you hear the word debt, probably about ready to start hyperventilating, probably get stressed out thinking about all those bills coming up, that boat, <laughs> or maybe that big old house you bought, right? Debt is a stressful thing. But the Federal Reserve, they got together and they did what they call, got it right here, a press release. They sent this press release out yesterday at 2 p.m. Eastern. And it's the Federal Open Market Committee where they said that they are seeking to foster maximum employment and price stability. Hey, that's a great thing. And you know what else they talked about? Inflation. They want to use inflation as a tool to do this very thing. Okay, and the way they do it is you don't want inflation to be too low. <laughs> you don't want inflation to be too high. When inflation is just where it needs to be, this is what happens. More dollars are gonna be in circulation and more dollars are gonna create more spending. More aggregate demand is gonna create higher demand. Higher demand is gonna create production. More dollars, more spending, guess what? Now we got more goods and services that need to be produced in the economy, therefore creating more jobs. Boom, okay? That is how you use inflation to your benefit. Now, if that inflation gets too high, now we got a problem. Basically, your dollars become worthless, right? So you don't wanna go too high, that's a danger. Now, what happens if inflation gets too low? Well, now we've got the problem of prices falling. We have consumers waiting for that better deal. Let me give you an example. I'm getting ready to buy a house, and somebody tells me, hey dude, if you wait till next year, that house will be $30,000 cheaper. Huh. What are we gonna do? A lot of us are gonna wait. I'm thinking that uh, I'll just hang tight here. Well, that may be fine for one person, but when you got a thousand people waiting, now we got a problem. We got builders going broke. We got investors who are doing fix and flips going broke. And we got sellers with a bunch of houses they can't sell. That is a problem. Because then that's gonna create less production. Uh-oh, now we got a problem. Layoffs, uh-oh we have what we call a stumbling, a declining economy. So inflation does help, helps debtors. It helps them pay back loans. And how, what do I mean by that? If I took out a $200,000 loan, I'm getting paid $75,000 a year at my job. I took that out today at a set fixed rate. And then what happens, a nice low rate, by the way, right now, because the rates will lower. Took that loan out and a few years down the road, I get a raise at my job, why? because of inflation. My employers, they're gonna hold out as long as they can. Eventually, they're gonna have to give you more money or what? You're gonna go somewhere else and get that money. So they gotta keep employees in the building so they will raise your salary. And when they do that, you're making now more money, but you're still paying back on a loan that you took out a few years ago on the old rate. You're getting more money in the deal there. That means if you're an investor, that means if you're buying a house, it's an absolute no-brainer. Evaluate. First of all, you're gonna get a low rate. You're going to get the appreciation of the market, which is, you know, anywhere from 2 to 5% right now. Some areas a little bit more. You're making money while you sleep. Okay, then you've got the Fed, which is a 1,000 people in this office working to stabilize the economy. They want to maximize employment, and they want price stability. And they're going to keep that interest rate right where you need it. The committee will assess realized and expected economic conditions relative to its maximum employment. What does that mean? It's trying to create jobs. It's trying to make sure, and that's not gonna happen with deflation. That's gonna happen by stimulating the economy, keeping that rate low, okay? That rate has to be lower than the interest rate, obviously. So if we ever had a problem where their rate is bigger than the interest rate, we got a serious issue on our hands. So they're gonna keep that inflation rate around 2% says right here. It says, relative to its maximum employment objective and its symmetric 2% inflation objective. Boom! If you wanna know some good news, that's good news. Get out there if you're on the fence. Well, uh, you know, maybe we'll just rent again for, we're just gonna renew our lease and uh, you know, we'll just rent a little bit longer and just kinda see what's going to happen over the next 12 months because I just don't know.
The only thing you're gonna get by being casual in this market is you're gonna become a casualty. Get with me, I've got lenders for you. Get with me, I've got 100% financing. Don't make any more excuses. Get started, build your real estate empire. Get some rent houses, buy some homes, and lock them in on these low rates. And then let inflation work for you. Let appreciation work for you. And shield your money from taxes in real estate, okay? Do some 1031 exchanges and don't pay income taxes and let this stuff make money for you. Create generational wealth in real estate. If you're looking for a broker that knows what they're talking about when it comes to investing in real estate, give me a shout. I'd love to help you get into some homes and make some money. If you're looking to buy a house and you're renting, stop making your landlord rich. Get with me, let's get you into a home. Let's get you making money while you sleep on some real estate. People who own real estate are worth 44 times that of people who do not. Get in on this thing. My name is Mark Leonard with the 1-8 Real Estate Group. I'm here to help. Go read this report. I'm telling you, the Fed gave us hope. And I don't see this changing anytime soon. The rates are going to be low. They're going to stay low for now, which means it's the perfect time to buy. And that inflation rate is going to stay at 2% where we're using inflation as our ally. We're using it to stimulate the economy, to grow the economy, create products and services, and aggregate demand. I'm Mark Linder with the 1-8 Real Estate Group. We'll talk to you later.